guess, uh, do you think your team is where you ideally like them to be going into conference play? Uh, you know, I don't think there's anything about it, anything we can do about it if they're not. So, um, I'm going to go to work today and excited about practice today. And, um, I don't think you're ever there in this game. I mean, really, so probably the answer to that's no. Uh, I don't know that, you know, you, this game's really hard to find rhythm and timing. And so just do the best you can each day, prepare each day, and uh, do the best you can when you get the opportunity. It's the uh, rotation with like this weekend. Similar it's the that. same. Okay. The same. How's Josh progress? Seems to be doing good. Been in the training room a lot. Seems to be doing good. I'm optimistic. We, we won't do anything that, you know, I mean, obviously we want him for the long haul. So we'll make that decision probably Friday. What's your assessment of Texas? Uh, hadn't watched a lot of them, like in the last 24 hours. Um, got a lot of the same guys. Uh, got a lot of new pitchers. Um, you know, you always got to go earn the right to win on the road. Um, not so concerned about who we're playing as us going out and doing, trying to work at it, trying to grow and get better each day. Uh, their guys at the front end uh, are good. They got some good young arms at the back end. Um, you have to do a good job to win, for sure. How, was the, how do you think Mason Montgomery's progressed like, at, from the start of the year to now, do you think? Um, good question. Because he's gone about five, four or five every start. Um, you know, I think really each time he gets to go out there, there's an opportunity for him to put something away and learn from it. Um, you know, he's got good stuff. He's got the ability to pitch out of jams. Uh, he's probably just now getting his feet on the ground as far as Mason goes. Uh, when it comes to developing like, these pitchers with you and your staff, what's the difference between developing guys that have been here for a couple of years and helping them compared to developing like a freshman? Well, there's, there's a time frame and there's a clock for everybody. And some guys are ready when they walk in the door and some guys it takes time. We've had a number of guys it takes two or three years. You can go look at it. We've had some JUCO guys take a couple years. And then there's guys that walk in the door, like maybe like Gingry and Davis Martin. Uh, you know, those two guys pretty much came in and uh, were ready right away. And more than anything, their mound presence was ready right away. Strike throwing ability was ready right away. And so it's different for each guy now. What's the formula? We're always trying to figure out that formula. I mean, there's, there's, if there was one formula for everybody, everybody would use the same one. So just try to get the best out of them, try to get their best effort each day. What do you thought of Killian so far? Been good. Yeah, I mean, I thought he's a lot better than his line showed last week. Excited about watching him this week. Uh, <laughs> tough conditions to pitch in the week before in Frisco. Um, you know, the other day, I mean, when you look at it from a, being objective about it, if he located pitches, he did on occasion. Um, you know, obviously he missed some spots too, but but overall, um, he's going to give you a chance to go win every time he pitches. Do, uh, would you would you like starters to go deeper in the games, or do you feel like with all the <clears throat> bullpen options that you have and some good ones that if they go five, then the you know, I, I, I think we like taking each game for what it is and kind of adjusting from there. Um, I like that early that we've got to pitch a lot of guys. Like if, for instance, if you had Gingry on this staff right now, on the day he pitches, one other guy's getting a pitch because he was going seven at least. And so, and Davis was that way his freshman year for the most part, or I'd say probably six. And so um, the development part for the rest of the staff's been good. Uh, in a perfect world, yeah, we've got a lot of really good arms um, that the longer they can stay out there, it's easier to manage a game that way. Uh, but we can embrace it either way. I mean, we're fine with it either way.
Speaking of Gingrey, you, you know where he is in his rebound? You talk to him he's throwing. That? He's throwing. So I think he's getting on the mound. Don't have a, a real late update, but I think he's been on the mound. Do you guys know? You think the extended rest will help or hurt you going into Austin this weekend? Yeah, well, we practiced yesterday, and so you know, I, I tell you, I mean, I did have a thought on Tuesday, and even was talking to a guy at lunch just now uh, with the time change this past weekend. I don't know if you woke up a few times, it's been pitch dark. And so, you know, not having that one o'clock game on Tuesday could have been a blessing that we didn't even know about. Maybe for both teams, just from a standpoint of letting guys' clocks get adjusted, just like all of ours are, and um, letting them get kind of get their legs under them, let them get in the weight room. And at the same time, you know, we had guys see pitches yesterday, we had guys throw yesterday. And so we do everything we can to find rhythm and timing. But at this point, guys have seen enough pitches to go hit. I mean, you know, to go hit or pitch, and for that matter. And so I wouldn't think it would hurt us. Speaking of hitting, Cam picking up uh, not only Big 12 Player of the Week, but also National Player of the Week. That's got to be special for him and for uh, what you guys are doing here. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Um, he had a good week. I mean, it was cool to see the ball go out of the ballpark every time he did it. So. Uh, be fine with us if he keeps doing it. Uh, neat, you know, neat to see a guy stuck around, uh, played a lot of baseball, kind of get rewarded for it. Back on Josh for a moment. How have the guys handled the last couple of games when he's not out there since that's never happened since he's been here? How have we handled it? I think the guys have done fine. I mean, it, it's uh, – I think Parker Kelly's fine with it, for sure. Uh, I think Max is fine with it. I mean, gave both those guys an opportunity to be in there quite a bit and uh, get some of the bats <coughs> under their belt. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think they've handled it fine. I mean, that's what you got to, that's why it's called a team. I mean, you got to have everybody ready to make an impact each day. And when a guy goes down, you got to have the ability to pick him up. How have you handled it? It's been fine. I, I enjoy watching all of them play. Uh, honestly, I mean, you can go back to, you know, George Brett came off the DL better than he was when he went on the DL most of the time. And a lot of those guys that are students of the game, sometimes just stepping back and watching sometimes helps them. So I'm excited watching him get back in there. Braxton, how would you assess uh, where this team is at going into conference play? Um, I'd say this team is ready to keep winning. I mean, we've had a taste of a few losses and streaks of losses already, and uh, I know we don't like that. I think we're ready to start playing some conference ball and really show what we're made of, because I don't think we've really shown it quite yet. From a catcher's perspective, how have you seen uh, Mason grow this year at Mason Montgomery? He's definitely uh, got more comfortable up there. I mean, from his first start, he was obviously nervous, like everyone would be. Um, got comfortable up there. Uh, found the zone early in games, more so than he did maybe in his first start. Um, yeah, just become more comfortable. Have you seen the overall pitching staff really come together from the first couple of games? You have a few runs in those. First, have you seen it overall come together over these these first few series of the year? Uh, definitely, guys are learning their roles a little bit more, figuring out when they come into pitch and what their job is. So we have quite a bit of role guys that come out of the pen for a few pitches, few innings, whatever it is, and they've kind of settled in there and figured out what they need to do and how they need to prepare. Does your job change at all? From if it's a younger guy, do you try to be more hands on? better guy until you'll be a little more How does your job change? Yeah, I mean, you obviously have to be aware that they might be a little more nervous and, uh, you know, guide them a little bit, uh, get them on the right track and make sure they need to know what they need to know for each inning and what changes between innings, for sure. What's this weekend series mean to you versus Texas? Uh, it's a big one, especially coming off last year and what how they came in here and beat us. But... Uh, I think it's a big one to start off the conference, not only that, but we want to prove that we're better than Texas and 
they're obviously the biggest rival. So it means it means a lot if we can beat them. How have you progressed behind the plate and at the plate this year? Um, like I said before, like just being more comfortable back there is the biggest thing I'd say, and understanding the pace of the game, kind of. Um, yeah, settling in. How's, how's the competition? I mean, two other guys and uh, also in the country. Good. They're, I know Cole for sure. He's He's got so many tools and skills. Uh, he's he's battling with the, being comfortable back there, just like any freshman. He's got a few things he needs to work on. Um, but definitely there's competition. They all have, both of them have skills, like, that can allow them to play at this level for sure. Um, it's just about who puts it all together. A moment ago about the guys out of the how big has the whole been for you guys this year? Uh, I'd say it's been huge, especially because uh, starters, you know, they do their job, maybe not going so deep into the game, um, but it leaves quite a few innings at the end, maybe for some other guys to come in, and which we have a big deep bullpen, so I mean, it's not a bad thing, but it, uh, it's definitely good for them. Kind of what I was asking about actually facing Texas is being such a big series for who wins the conference on the road, even though it is the first round best. That's something you guys think about? Um, not really. It's kind of another week. I mean, we know it's Texas. We know it's a big series, and it's going to be maybe a little more difficult just because it is the first series, but it's just another week. Maybe we wanted a little more because it is Texas, but nothing too different. If you're in a tough situation, say in the ninth inning, and you can put one pitch on the mound and call any pitch that you feel like they got no chance to hit, what pitcher and what pitch? Uh, I'm going to have to go with beater and a slider. Sure. So you, his slider is even better than his fastball? Uh, I mean, his fastball kind of sets up the slider to be unhittable type thing. This fastball is just so overpowering that they can't really adjust to the slider. So. Who has the best changeup? Who's, who's got the best curve? Who's got the best changeup? Um, I know Kurt Wilson's got a really good changeup when he throws it right. It's not all the time, but he does have a good one. Um, yeah. Micah Dallas maybe has a good changeup. Uh, I know Trey Garlett. Those are three good changeups that come to mind. So Dallas, I know before last week he had uh, like ten strikeouts in five innings. So he's gotten a bunch of the, has he got a bunch of those with his changeup. Uh yeah, slider getting him chasing on the slider curveball too. Um, he's one of those guys that can throw it where he wants it to be consistently. Set him up for to swing at the bad pitch, basically. So um, that's kind of he works all his pitches to set him up. I think the radio guys have mentioned that um, <clears throat> Beater's coming back from Tommy John. Mm -hmm. Is he some surprise you and all to have that cal that high caliber of stuff this quickly after his first year back from that? Um. I don't think so because his freshman year when he first threw, he was throwing mid-90s, throwing really hard. Um, and, you know, when you come back from Tommy John, you're either stronger or it's, it's not too good. But the new beater, he's like one of the strongest guys in the weight room, working hard every day. Um, if, he, if his arm's okay, he's going to be throwing really hard. So, I mean, it wasn't that big of a surprise, I'd say. You guys have been pretty on in the bullpen. What's it been like this year? Um, I mean, I think in the bullpen, we have a close bond in there. I mean, we're always messing around with each other, just have a good bond, as I was saying. But, I mean, we all come out, we're ready to pitch. I mean, we all want to get out there and do our job for the team. Uh, building off that early in the year, you guys were coming in to relieve help when you're down by a couple runs, even that one game down by eight runs, then obviously your team helps you get back into it, and you won those games from behind because of you guys. And 
in the in the bullpen. Have, have those early starts given you guys momentum this year? Is, that's uh, helped contribute to your success? Oh, for sure. Um, our starters do a great job. I mean, they're always going out there competing every day. Um, yeah, like talking about to the eight inning or the eight inning run in the, against Oregon. Uh, the bullpen, we were just came out and we were trying to do our job, trying to keep it, keep it, stay there, leave it at where it's at. And our hitters ended up turning it on and winning us that game. What's been different over these last couple of weeks, both? How you guys are scoring, but also the pitching staff. Just what's been different since it was in Frisco and the high scoring innings went up against Oregon. What's been different these last few games? Um, just we're just ready to come out and compete every day. Um, I would say that when like Lanning or Killian or Montgomery even they step on the mound, they have a presence, and I feel like they come out and they want to get get after it every day and try to beat you. What's this weekend series against Texas mean to you? Uh, means everything. It's Texas. I definitely want to go get it, go get it. How do you kind of how do you, how do you kind of balance being a two way player, pitching and hitting and playing the field? Uh, last year I played right field a couple games and then and then they put me in the bullpen and against Baylor I remember distinctively and I threw pretty decent. And they were just, from there on, they kind of wanted me to be a pitcher. But Tadlock told me the other day, don't be surprised to go to the outfield. So start working on that again as well. So most of this time then you haven't worked. You, you've been pretty much just pitching for yes. the most part this year. Yes, sir. I've been just out of the bullpen, just focusing on pitching. But since Big 12 is coming up, he told me that because we can only travel so many people. Yeah that I have to be ready to play the outfield just in case. How much did you do each in high school? Uh, I would usually come in, I'd play shortstop in high school and then in like the seventh inning, which was like the ninth inning here, I would just close games. You so you, so, I'm sorry, so you, so you didn't work as like a starting pitcher then in high school? No, so my freshman and sophomore year, I did work as a starting pitcher, but then I had Tommy John surgery my junior year, and then from there on, I worked as a shortstop and as a pitcher. But I was still trying to come off something down. And I'd ask Coach this last week, but with the, as many bullpen options as you guys have, uh, yes, how easy or difficult is it to get enough work to stay sharp? Since y'all have so many guys down there who are pretty quality options. Yes, sir. Um, Coach Gardner does a great job working with all of us. I mean. Everything he does with the bands, the throwing program that we do every day, we, we have to stretch it out certain days, flat ground, stuff like that. But, I mean, he does a great job with working with all of us to keep us all sharp. How far is this year? I mean, you mentioned how important it was just playing Texas in general, but how important is this series to just get that uh, for how the whole conference schedule is going to go and just getting off to the, a good start? Uh, definitely starting off conference. I mean, you want to go and win a series or sweep, anything to like help us start off the Big 12 in the right way. I feel like with practicing yesterday and we're going to practice today, I feel like I feel like we're ready to go. I mean, so, how would you assess your performance so far this year? Um, I've had some good moments and I've had some bad moments. Uh, I want to. I mean, I just want to keep trying to help this team out, no matter what I can do in the bullpen. Like coming out, and doing my job, and getting outs.